Hey there. So if you have been wondering about converting your personal profile into professional mode, or if you've heard of professional mode and you're not quite sure what that means, this video is for you. Now, this video, if you are new here, is also a great example of what members of the Secret to Thriving Online Communities, our free Facebook group, get all the time. Pictures of me shortly after I've woken up in the morning, or videos from me shortly after I've woken up in the morning, bedhead and all, I did throw in a headband just to tame the curly hair, um, when it's appropriate for me to record video because it is easier for me to show versus tell in a response to a question. So the question that came in yesterday was uh, a member DM'd me and had noticed you know, the member has a private Facebook group and she had noticed that some of the comments, some of the people who had commented on posts had a follow link next to their name. And she was concerned because she has her group set up so that pages can't join because it's very important to her that every person who joins the group and who is actively participating in the group is a real life human and only one person, right? So anybody can admin a page. And so she doesn't have, she, she has it so that pages are not allowed to join her Facebook group. So she was a little concerned to see this follow link because, you know, from her perspective, the only properties on Facebook that are followed would be pages. So she asked the question and I had a good sense of what was going on, but I wanted to test it. So the way that I tested it was posting here in the group. If you've converted your personal profile to professional mode, please comment below testing something, right? So very explicit. I'm always honest in the group when we are making a test and you will see here. So there's a couple of interesting things here. So you'll see here, um, Jenna Larson uh, says her, right? Uh, Jolene Underwood thinks she did. And we've got some folks who don't, who don't know. Uh, totally fine. Now you'll see nobody here has a follow link. So hmm, curious, curious, right? Well, here is what's going on. And I promise I will explain what professional mode is. But first, let's answer the question that was asked. And so the answer is yes. If there is a follow link, that person has converted their personal profile into professional mode. And here's what that looks like in a group setting. So we've got the group track CRM group. This is a group owned by Jenna Larson. It is a business to business group. It does not have sensitive information, which is why I felt comfortable showing this on my screen. Uh, these are all business owners trying to grow their audiences, trying to grow their businesses. And you will see here, Sarah Murphy has a follow link. So when you hover over Sarah's name, there's nothing here that indicates, and this is group track kind of popping up on the side here, but there's nothing here to indicate that Sarah is not a personal profile. But when we go here and we open Sarah's profile in a separate window, what you will see here is under her intro, there's a little info icon here on the left hand side, it should be just above my picture, um, or just above my video feed here in the video, it says profile, it says digital creator, that is your indication that this profile this started off as a personal profile, and it has now been converted into professional mode. So I'm going to show you a couple more examples. Right, so the, here we've got a Shannon Anderson profile digital creator. You've got me profile, digital creator. I have a lot more stuff in my, in my bio than most people do. We've got uh, my dear friend, Kathy Lip, profile, digital creator. And we've got Jenna who already told us profile, digital creator. So first question is why in my post, am I not seeing a follow link next to Jenna's name? If she has her profile in professional mode, and it's showing up that way in other groups. Well, it's because I already follow Jenna. So if you already follow somebody, you're not going to get that link to prompt to follow them. But if you're not currently connected to somebody like I am not currently connected to Sarah Murphy, I get this link so that I can follow her. So here's what's interesting about this. And then again, I promise I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you what professional mode is all about. What I find interesting about this is a lot of people have their group set up so that pages can not join. And there are, uh, and that is because they want to make sure that everybody who is commenting is a known individual. They don't like the idea that any one of a number of people could be posting and commenting as this one named entity. 
makes total sense. And what that has led some people to think is that you can't actually grow your business. You can't grow your visibility using Facebook or using participation in other people's Facebook groups. And this is showing that's not exactly true because if your personal profile is converted to professional mode and you are in a group and you are actively engaged and you are bringing value. And I don't mean the thinly veiled market research questions or the teaching posts, but you know, people are answering questions and you're like, Hey, in my experience, you know, like what I would say in my experience as an online community manager, blah, 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 blah. Right. Or, you know, you might say in my experience as a homeschooling mom, blah, 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 blah. In my experience as a personal trainer, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then somebody says, wow, this person seems to know what they're, they're talking about back in the day they would either DM you directly from the group or they would click here. They would pull up this profile, right? Your group profile, see a little bit more about you. But now what they can do is they can be like, oh, that's Sarah Murphy. I like her. Or, oh, that Jenna Larson. I like her. They can just follow right here. It's not a friend request. They're only going to see public posts. They're not going to see anything that's marked friends only. So if you are somebody who um, wants to keep pictures of your kids, right, or your family private, you don't want those out in the public space, you can convert your profile from personal mode to professional mode and, and still maintain some level of privacy. So if things are set to friends only, your followers are not going to see that. But anything that is public, right, that has the globe around it is going to be within public view. Now, what is the difference between professional mode and personal mode? So this is um, so I have opinions about it and I don't I can't tell you whether I think it's a great idea or a bad idea. I do see some very distinct pros and some very distinct cons about professional mode. So the first thing is, is I am not naive, right? I, I was not born yesterday. In fact, I was born several years before yesterday. I know that social media platforms do not create any features out of any sense of philanthropy or altruism, right? It is, they are generally not making heart-centered dis business decisions, right? They are making bottom line business decisions. So helping somebody, you know, allowing somebody to turn their personal profile into a professional profile is not out of the goodness of their hearts, right? There's always going to be a business case for it and it's most likely going to be revenue driven. So I know that. Um, so here's from the user side, the benefits of it. So what it does is, you know, so back in the day, right, you weren't allowed to do any business stuff off of your personal profile. You could actually get a lifetime ban from Facebook for trying to sell from your personal profile. Doesn't mean you didn't do it, right? Network marketers left and right did it. And then kind of, you know, Facebook had this sort of balance, right? As long as you didn't sell more than say 10% on your personal profile, you were okay. As long as you weren't like using your personal profile as an online store, you were okay, right? Because they didn't allow that because they wanted you to create a business page. And so your personal profile got has always gotten a lot more reach than a business page. Your personal profile has allowed you to connect with friends and family. Your personal profile is a direct link into the DMs for most people. On a page, you have the ability to run ads. You get great analytical data on all of your content. So you know what's performing well, what's not. You know how many times your posts are shared. You know if that person shares them publicly, you know you can see those shares, right? If they are sharing them privately, then you don't. You see that it has been shared, but you don't know who has shared it or what in what context, right? But you get a lot of data on the page side. And then over the years, what we've seen is, you know, the pages just aren't getting the reach that they used to. They're not getting the interaction that they used to. Profiles are still getting a lot of interaction because Facebook knows that humans to humans want to interact and we want to interact with people we know and we want to interact on a really personal level. We don't really get that excited about interacting with nameless, faceless brands. So, Professional mode was positioned as this opportunity that strictly for personal brands. So for people who consider their name, their brand, right? So if you're an author, you're a speaker, you're a podcaster, you're a model, you're a celebrity, you are a coach, a consultant, but somebody who is like, you know, Tanya Kubo is the company, right? Or 
you know, Jenna Larson is co-founder of Group Track, right? But Jenna Larson is like Group Track is a very founder forward brand. We all know Jenna as the face, Jenna as the strategy. We all know that Nate, who is incredible, by the way, he's the tech guy, right? He's a developer. He does all the stuff under the hood. Anytime somebody is excited about the Group Track tool, we are thanking Jenna for the vision. We are thanking Nate for the tech and we are ever grateful. So, you know, so Jenna, it's founder forward brand. So it makes sense for her to convert her profile into, into professional mode. So here's the thing. So it was initially positioned as if you are a personal brand and you want, you want more data from the content that you post, then you can go to professional mode and you don't have to create a page, right? So it was initially positioned for people who didn't have a business page, didn't want a business page, but still were using Facebook for some type of business. Uh, and so what you get as a professional mode person is you get analytics on your posts. That's it. You cannot run ads. If you want to run ads, you still have to have a business page, but you do get some deeper analytics on your post. So you do know what's performing well. You get Facebook, as you can see here, when you're in groups, Facebook is promoting following you, right? They're just making it easier for people to follow you. And what you also get is you get listed as a digital creator. Now that, that is important information to note and to pay attention to, right? It's the only option. It's like you're a digital creator or you're nothing. And so what I believe is this is because what Facebook's actually trying to do is get people to post more unique created content on Facebook. So you're listed as a digital creator to set your content apart. And what they really want is for you to be posting reels, live video, the stuff that drives engagement, keeps people on the platform longer, right? Don't think they're actually doing this to make it easier to run your business, but hey, if it works for you, I think you should go for it. So uh, I'm gonna tell you what some other experts are saying. So Dr. Jen Bennett is um, somebody I know ish. She wrote a book called Be Worth Following. She is a faculty member with me in another program. She had posted a few weeks ago that she had been testing it out. So she teaches communications at a college. Uh, so she had been testing it out to kind of see what was going on. And her reach and her engagement went through the roof once she converted to professional mode. And so she was shouting from the rooftops like everybody should try professional mode. This is how you get your content in front of the right people. Uh, now, opposite end of that spectrum is Mari Smith, who is a known Facebook expert. She has worked directly with Facebook management. She, um, and it's funny, she's worked directly with Facebook management and yet she is often very critical of decisions made by Meta. Um, and, and she takes a very practical approach to how she evaluates what's going on in the space of social media. So she said, yeah, you know, she tested it last year when she had access to it and she noticed what everybody was saying. She did have increased engagement. She did get increased reach. She got a lot more comments and interaction, but after a few months, that all started to diminish. And that's something we've seen over time, right? We've seen that in Facebook. We've seen that in Instagram. They launch a new feature. They throw all the power behind the people who are using it, right? So people who you know were the early adopters of Reels on Facebook had videos that had like 6,000, 60,000 views overnight, right? People who were early adopters in, in going live on Facebook, same thing. They were getting thousands and thousands of views in a short period of time. And then over time that diminishes, right? You know, now they post a video and they're like, oh, I'm lucky to get 600. Or now they post a reel and maybe nobody sees it. Meanwhile, it's got six figure views over on TikTok or six figure views even on Instagram. So we see that all the time, right? They, they prioritize a new feature. They put all their power behind promoting people who are using the new feature, getting that new feature adopted. And then they start to reduce the level of let's call it algorithmic support that they are giving to that feature. And so then that's when we start to see, oh, my lives aren't doing as well as they used to, even though like, you know, I know that I'm still showing up and doing all the things that my audience wants me to be. Oh, my reels aren't doing as well as they used to. Oh, my carousel posts aren't doing as well as I, they used to, right? And social media changes all the time. So we've seen that over time. We've also seen that, you know, these platforms will financially compensate people for using these new features. You know, we saw a lot. I mean, I have a friend, she made $140,000 in one month off of reels, um, under the meta creator program. 
And you know what? On month six, she wasn't making that, right? And when she made that $140,000, trust me, she was excited. But she also said, I know this isn't going to stay, right? This is not what I'm banking my future financials on. This is temporary, but hey, it's temporary. I'm going to leverage it. I'm going to see what kind of lasting results I can get out of it. So we've seen the same thing with, you know, compensating reels. We've seen that on, you know, YouTube has never really compensated creators at a high level. They kind of always just had a very static compensation plan, but we've seen it on Facebook and, and on Instagram specifically where they start out, you know, with high levels of compensation and then they drop those compensation rates down or they stop compensating altogether. And so we're seeing that with, um, with this professional mode. So what you can do with the professional mode is, you know, you can create videos or upload reels and people can actually send you money, right? So people buy stars, they send you stars for every stars you get, you know, that, that can be a way of getting compensated. And we've seen that tested here on the platform already. So that's the ins and outs of professional modes, very high level. Um, but at least you have an understanding now of sort of the difference between personal profile and professional mode, you should know you can go back and forth between the two, but you won't maintain any of the analytics, right? If you convert from professional mode to your personal profile. Now, full disclosure, this is something I have been testing, quite honestly, haven't noticed much with it, but I am curious and I, you know, I, I do all tests. I, I do an initial 90 day run and then I decide uh, if I want to do a second 90 days and then usually after about 120 days, which is six months, I see a good trend and then I can make uh, a data informed decision on what to do moving forward. So right now I'm in the middle of testing phase. If you are on professional mode, I'd love to know what you have noticed. Have you noticed any changes since you converted to professional mode? Do you like the changes? Is it beneficial? Is it adding value to what you're doing here on Facebook? Or do you feel like your life hasn't changed at all and it's six of one, half a dozen of the other? Would love to hear your thoughts on that and drop any questions below.